Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you're an MMA fan, UFC fan, whatever you want to describe it. It's a fight fan. Um, I told, I had a fan comment on my Islam video, I think, it was the Islam Charles video. He said, shout out to my fan, I can't remember his name, I've been going through a lot today. Um, Ion Kutabala versus Johnny Walker. I already knew somewhat of Johnny Walker, I didn't know much about Ion, so let's, um, let's talk about both guys. They're both knockout artists. They both have like 10 or more knockouts. They've both been knocked out at least two or three times in their career. I think both of them have been submitted once or twice in their career as well. They've also lost a lot of fights in their career. They're both struggling right now. Johnny Walker, his, um, again, they're both knockout artists, so I doubt this fight's going to go to distance. Um, <clears throat> what makes Ion, or whatever his name is, I can't say his name, I'm sorry if I say his name wrong, but what makes him dangerous is the fact he has some really good punching power. He can submit guys. He's okay with going the distance if he needs to. He can grapple pretty well. He's very aggressive. So that makes him a dangerous fighter. And then you have Johnny Walker on the other side. He's also aggressive, but he's more precision. A precision fighter. He's going to pinpoint his time when he wants to knock you out. And he probably can and will. Um, what makes both guys beatable? Johnny Walker's been knocked out a few times in the past. Most recently by Corey Anderson. I forgot who knocked him out in his last fight. He's struggled a lot lately. And so has Ion. Um, I think he's lost three of his last four fights or something like that. They're both going through about the same thing, right? But I think Johnny Walker has hit the, the cream of the crop of the light heavyweight division more. And I think he's been more successful than Ion. Ion can win the fight. He's dangerous. Again, he's aggressive. But I think his overly aggressiveness will cost him this fight. Based off the highlights, based off the numbers and everything I've seen, I predict Johnny Walker to win this fight by second round knockout. Again, Ion has to put this fight away early. He's overly aggressive. A guy that's more patient when his knockouts, his finishes, and is more precision based like Johnny Walker, that guy will normally beat the overly aggressive fighter. So, and given that I think Johnny Walker has just been a little bit better than him, I think this will be no different. I think he gets a second round. And the thing is, with an overly aggressive guy, if you can clinch him and pull him in close, Johnny Walker does that a lot in some of his fights. He'll clinch the guy, hit him. He has big knees. He has big elbows. And he can punch hard. So, I think he's going to win this fight. He's going to weather an early storm from Ion pretty well in the first round. He might get clipped a few times, but I don't think he's going to get put out. Uh, second round early to mid-second round. He's going to physically control Ion, he's, Eon, however you say his name. He's going to clinch him, probably put him against the cage. That way the overly aggressiveness can be neutralized. And he's going to clip him with a big knee or a big punch and put him away. That's just my opinion. Second round knockout for Johnny Walker.